is a 200 volt frame size B Profinet version of the V90. The contents include the cable screening plate, the terminal connectors, the V90 drive unit and the instructions leaflet. The V90 is also available in a 400 volt or pulse train output variant. If you scan the QR code in the leaflet to be directed to the available V90 manuals on Siemens website. These manuals can also be found on our website, please see the link below. There are three terminal connectors, the 24 volt and safe torque off. This provides 24 volts to the drive unit and the STO inputs are used to activate the safe torque off function in the drive. A jumper is included to disable this function by default. The supply line in, this is where the mains voltage is connected. The motor line out and external braking resistor. This is the orange motor power cable is connected and where any external braking resistor, if applicable, is connected. This is the inbuilt braking resistor. It is found in the heat sink at the rear of the drive unit. The drive comes equipped with two Profinet ports on top of the unit. These two ports are a single interface and therefore act as a switch. There are two status LEDs on front of the unit. The RDY or ready LED indicates that the motor is enabled. The COM LED indicates the status of the Profinet comms. The LED displays the drive status information and fault codes. The operator buttons in combination with the LED display can be used to commission the drive, set parameters and clear faults. This is the port for the mini USB and micro SD card. The mini USB interface is used to commission or set up the drive using the free vAssistant PC software. The micro SD can be used to back up and load new drive configurations. The memory card is sold separately and is not required. Please note that the 400 volt V90 variant uses an SD card. This is where the green motor feedback cable is connected. This is where the IO cable is connected, which is used to connect digital input and output signals to the drive. Please note that this cable is required if you wish to use a brake motor on the 200 volt V90 variant. The cable screening plate is connected here with the provided screws. The motor power cable must be screened properly. It is recommended to use a metal P-clip or a Jubilee clip to clamp the motor cable effectively to the shielding plate. Use the provided screws to mount the drive. The drive cannot be mounted on its side. The following clearances must be applied when mounting the unit. There must be at least 100 mm of clearance above and below and 10 mm either side of the unit. The sticker on the side of the unit displays useful information such as the drive part number, serial number and rating information. Thank you for watching.